Hello. So these are three easy warm up problems. The first one reads What is the kinetic energy of a 1500 kilogram car traveling at a speed of 30 meters per second? So we know that the kinetic energy is one half of the mass times the velocity squared. So if the mass is 1500 kilograms and the velocity is 30 meters per second, well, just plug and play. One half of 1500 kilograms times 30 meters per second squared. Grab the calculator. 30 squared is 900 times 1500 divided by two. That's uh, one to 675,000 uh, uh, meter squared. Sorry, this is meter per second squared. Meter squared, uh, second squared. So this is joules. So 675,000 joules, uh, which you can also write as one, two, three, four, five, 6.75 times 10 to the five joules. All right. In the second one, it says, from what height will the car have to be dropped to have the same amount of kinetic energy just before impact. So this is a kinetic energy. We have a numerical value for it here. The gravitational potential energy is mgh. So we want these two to be equal. So that means that we want ug equal to k. So mgh, equals one half of mb squared. We want h, the masses cancel out because we have them on both sides. So h is velocity squared divided by two times the acceleration due to gravity. And we know the velocity squared, well, we know the acceleration due to gravity, this is on Earth. And so we can just plug in the numbers in there. H is gonna be the 30 meters per second squared divided by 19.6 meters per second squared. This is meter squared, second squared, meter second squared. So we end up with meters. That one was the 900. We divide by 19.6. And so the height is 45. Point nine meters. And so about 46 meters. So a car, a 1500, I guess it doesn't matter, the mass doesn't matter, but uh, a car traveling at 30 meters per second has the same uh, kinetic energy as the potential energy produced by a height of 46 meters. And for the third part, it says that a horizontal spring with spring constant 750 newtons per meter. So we can get rid of this one. It's a uh, horizontal spring, which is being pushed by an athlete, although it doesn't have to be an athlete, you know, a normal person will do. And the spring constant over here, K, is 750. 
newtons per meter. Um, it is attached to the wall, it is being pressed upon, and it is compressed by a hole um, five centimeters. Or, you know, if you don't want to have any trouble with the units, five times 10 to negative two meters. You know, just write it in meters right away. How hard is the athlete pushing? Well, um, this is a spring, so it's going to follow uh, Hooke's law, which says that the force is going to be minus kx, that's it, right? So uh, if the force is in this direction, then the, um, well, the, the compression is in this direction, the displacement, and the force um, produced by the spring is gonna be in the opposite direction. So in order to remain in this position, you know, removed from the, from the position of equilibrium, then the spring, con the spring has to produce a force that is exactly equal to the force um, that is being exerted on the spring, right? In order to remain over here. So the spring constant is given, uh, the displacement, uh, I, sh I should write this one as displacement. The displacement is given. And so the force is just and we don't care about the direction. So just the magnitude is going to be the 750 newtons per meter times five times 10 to the negative two meters. We can cancel the meters out and we get 750 times five times 10 to negative two, 37.5 Newtons. So that's it, easy peasy. Thank you.